We're here at Cabana Club RV Resort, which is just outside of Orlando and Tampa, actually right in the middle, in mm -hmm. Auburndale, Florida. And this place is absolutely amazing. And amazing. So we wanted to do something a little bit different this week in this episode and show you some of the things that we look for in an RV resort. And we're obviously new at this. We've been at it just a little <laughs> over 100 days. So our changes are definitely evolving, but we've been able to stay at everything from campgrounds with gravel and kind of near a state park or in a state park all the way to where we're at right now at Cabana Club. So we wanted to just give you a couple highlights of the things that we look for and then take you on a quick tour and show you how amazing this property is. Hey y'all, we are Sean and Christina, and this is our therapy dog, Nash. We left our home in Nashville, Tennessee to travel the US in an RV and shine a bright spotlight on the incredible work that therapy dogs do across our country. Now, as Sean already mentioned, Cabana Club is absolutely amazing. It is. And we really want to move here. But we're going to walk through three key details that we look for when staying at an RV resort. The first is amenities, second is community, and third is attention to detail. But those are in no particular order. Yeah, and they're all equally important, I would say. Um, and as we've been really learning this as we go, it's been evolving a little bit. And this is where we've landed for now after seeing a few examples of this and how important these are to us and how important they are to other people too. And so we're gonna give you more detail about all these, but we're also gonna get perspective from different couples. Yes. Because we are in our early 30s and married, but we don't have kids yet. And obviously we have Nash, which I guess He's these totally are totally a kid. And we have a family <laughs> that has five kids that travels full time, which is very cool. So and encouraging. And we've got a couple that's in more of the retirement phase of life. And it's just gonna be really cool to hear what we look for, what they look mm -hmm. for, and you guys can take what you like, leave what you don't, and ultimately apply that to your travels as well. Mm -hmm. The first place we're gonna start is amenities. And oh, those are some of my, my favorites. favorites. <laughs> so there are multiple categories within this, and mm -hmm. some people could classify something as an amenity while others don't. So we're just gonna give some examples, and particularly examples that are here at this resort, and things that we do look for as we travel. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna take us away with the first? Yes, the first is a pool and a slide. Yes which as you can see, we are not dressed for the pool, but this is one of the not most- yet, at least. <laughs> No, but this is one of the most important things to us, especially if we're going to a resort. There's a difference between a campground and a resort. And I think for us, the most important is a pool because you're going to relax. And for us, we love to relax by and in a pool. Yes. And I love this because they also were so thoughtful to add a slide, which has been so fun for kids, but also adults. We have seen, all ages go down the slide. Yes, including and it ourselves. Is fun. It was the best. <laughs> multiple times, multiple days, <laughs> which has been awesome. And that's not just any old slide. That's like a legit water park slide. It's so, amazing. Not saying that that's common. It's actually more uncommon, but it was a lot of fun. Yes, but they also have a kiddie pool. So if uh, a you know a deeper pool isn't what you want for your kids, they have like a splash pad area, which is perfect for younger ones. Mm -hmm. And we secretly want to take Nash in there, but he's yes. not allowed, so we're not going to break the rules. <laughs> The second area that we look for is something kind of like a marketplace um, or a convenience store. Because some of these resorts can be 10, 15, 20 minutes away from the nearest even gas station. Yes. So to have a little store that has just easy things, you know, if you forget some milk or need an energy drink, or if you need some extra coffee mm -hmm. or a Snickers bar late at night. Or <laughs> just saying. Maybe I've done that. Or more re realistically, you could run out for stuff for lunch on your second to last day and just not want to leave property to go to the store and get stuff like peanut butter and jelly or lunch meat. So having yeah. a market on site is so important for those last minute things that you could have forgotten. Yep, it is. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm getting swole, bro. Getting swole. I'm getting swole. <laughs> We're at the fitness center. Not dressed for the fitness center. Again, like we're not dressed for the pool, but we do love a good fitness center. Yeah, but that's been honestly the most difficult thing about full-time living in an RV has been yes. the consistency of a gym. And we pretty much went every day minus the weekends, but it's been hard to find consistent gyms. So when you have one, relish it. And this one yes. is absolutely incredible. They've got treadmills and all the weights that you need. Kettlebells, yeah. TRX. It's crazy. It's so nice. 
Another thing that's so nice too, that we don't usually use because they're not usually that nice, but here they're amazing, and it's the bathhouses. So their showers and their public bathrooms here are incredible. I'm talking nicer than a hotel. So you can't really get used to that because that's not the common normal thing, but here, incredible. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's comfortable to use your own stuff, but these bathhouses are amazing. So I've can, actually used them multiple times. <laughs> and when you can take a long hot shower without having to turn off the water in between your different parts of your shower, that's really nice. I feel like we're leaving something out of the equation here with the amenities. Our sweet puppy. Of course, Nash. <laughs> what does Nash want to do? Well, I can tell you what he doesn't want to do, which is take baths. And y'all have seen that yeah. in our last episode. Even though he loves <laughs> swimming, bath time, he hates. But what we love are these amazing dog wash stations with shampoo and a dryer and, and conditioner. conditioner. Yep, and that doesn't get any better. So this rocks, there's multiple dog parks. A lot of times the dog parks will be more dirt or mud than it is grass, but here they actually have turf on one of the dog parks and then the other one's actual grass. So you get best of both worlds and the dog is happy pretty much no matter what, so. And it's really sweet to see Nash run around because it helps us because he gets all of his energy out. That way when he comes home and back to the RV at night, he doesn't want to run around like a crazy man. Exactly. Now we all know that when you go RVing, you want to bring all of your friends and family. Everybody. But the worst part is that not all of your friends and family have RVs. So what do you do? The best part about Cabana Club and a lot of other resorts across the country right now, they're adding cottages and tiny homes Beautiful cottages. on property yeah. so that you don't have to worry about having an RV or not. And it's really nice because they're basically like an Airbnb property where they've got dishes and refrigerators and just everything that you need to have an awesome weekend. You don't have to worry about bringing anything other than yourselves and food. And you can just have an amazing time together, enjoy all the amenities together, just like you would having a, an RV here on the property. The next thing that we look for is community. Now, community is really important to Sean and I because we love people. It's kind of what we do. <laughs> and sure. Nash loves people. He sure does. And that's all about what we're doing on the Pause for Love Tour. So what we're looking for is people that are out of their rigs and on property talking and hanging out and doing life together. And here at Cabana Club, we're seeing that everywhere we go. Every night. Every night. Until like every, 10. It's, it's awesome. the best. It's way past our bedtime, but we have been loving that. But what we're seeing is people gathering around fire pits. They're bringing in food trucks every single day almost, at least on Thursday through Saturday. And that really brings people out and it's really helpful to get people talking and a little bit out of their comfort zone. Yeah, and speaking of community, we had some people walk by us and wave. So. I was literally like, we're waving too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we love though. That's the best part about being here. It is, and there's so many activities to do with kids, which is another thing to look for. Again, it's not something that we're looking for right now, but it will be soon. And it's been really refreshing to see how Wait, much- Wait, did you just say soon? That is not a pregnancy announcement, <laughs> okay. anybody. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, maybe soon. <laughs> but we really love, and it's been really refreshing to see that they're pouring so much into their kids' activities at night so that parents can unwind and their kids can have a great time in a safe environment that they've really thought through, which I love. Mm -hmm. Last but certainly not least is attention to detail. And some of the best things in life come from the smallest little decisions and things that go into making up an amazing experience. And it is no different when you're looking at RV resorts. And we like to say it's all about the experience. And all this... <laughs> about the experience. You can thank my parents for that one. I like to think I started it. It's a battle, needless to say. It really does make a huge difference. And so what we really loved, specifically here at Cabana Club, that we've never seen before, and we noticed it right when we got on property. Literally instantly. And they will a golf cart escort you to your space, which helps you so you don't make the wrong turn, and so you're pulling in in the best way, and that you don't have any issues hooking up. Now once we got escorted to our space, we immediately noticed how big the spaces were. They were huge. We could fit a truck in front of and behind our RV, which is so rare. I have never seen a space this big, and it's been so nice for us to spread out and really just give ourselves, ourselves some breathing room. Now what I really love too is the fact that they have gone above and beyond here at Cabana Club and they've added turf and a giant oversized patio equipped with a grill if you didn't bring your own to really just give yourself some space to spread out. And what's really cool about that too is around 
the concrete, which often can be dirt and it gets muddy when it rains, they actually did seashells. Which <laughs> is so, so cool. Florida and so cute. Who likes a dirty property? No one. I don't know if anybody raised their hand for that. No, I don't think anyone did. The worst part is when you walk in, especially to the laundry room, and it's filthy, and you can tell that it hasn't been cleaned in months. Especially with everything going on, we are heightened to cleanliness. And what we really love about Cabana Club is that someone is always cleaning. They're wiping down chairs, they're wiping down the countertops, and it is made for a huge difference in the way that we feel and our comfortability here. A small thing, but big thing that a lot of people don't think about, and frankly, until you're living in an RV, either part-time or full-time and traveling quite extensively so that you have multiple experiences at, at resorts or parks, is the placement of the sites related to the sun. So Ooh. when you're late in the afternoon and that sun is beaten down and it's really hot, where is your RV's position so that where is your shade gonna be? Because that's the beauty of how big these things are is it can actually provide a lot of shade. So these sites are all set up. In Florida, obviously it gets a lot of sun and it gets hot, but in the late afternoon, it's on the back side of your RV so that your whole patio is shaded whether you have an awning or not. Now, everything that we've covered is what we look for in an RV resort, but we want to hear what other families and other couples think too. So we are going to talk with Brent and Brittany, and they actually full time with their five Holy beautiful cow. babies. And we're also going to talk with a really sweet couple that's in the retirement years of life to get their perspective and what they think. So let's head over to Brent and Brittany's rig and see what they think. So we have been having such a good time here at the Cabana Club RV Resort. Um, usually we uh, like to come to places like this, this resort style feel, um, every so often when we get away from like our regular full-time life. It's um, a good vacation. It's a good vacation. Some of the things that are really important that we look for are um, just like safety with having five kids. It's really important that we feel safe enough to be able to let them ride their bikes. Let them ride their bikes, yeah. Around. Like like leave them here if they want to be in here watching a movie while we go hang out with other people. And that has definitely been like so important here and so nice that we can just, you know, um, hang out and not feel, you know, unsafe. Safe, yeah. Big spots for us because we're a big rig, we're considered a big rig. So being able to easily get into your spots. And Which was, was really easy to get into this spot. And what's nice here is they direct you to your spot, so there's not this amount of time where you're driving around looking, okay, where am I supposed to be at? Check in, they take you right to your spot. Yeah, and we are able, we have two really big vehicles, and so we were able to just pull right in and have both of our vehicles. Sometimes at RV parks, we actually have to park one of our vehicles, like, way off and then um the overflow and the overflow and here we've been able to park both of them here which has been really nice and another and big thing for us is a clean park again we have five kids this is this is our home so we want to be somewhere that's yeah clean. we're not like camping where it's like camping like this is actually like our home where we you know do all of our things where we work and homeschool and all that so having a clean park where there's not like trash everywhere and they're really good about they actually it's cool because they you can put your garbage out in front or behind and they come and pick it up for you in the morning which is so nice um so it's and it's very very clean they're on top of it it's like it's like no the disney world of rv parks you yeah. know how like when you go to disney world and it's like so clean all the time that's what it feels that's like and, and there's no dirt that's yeah. like a huge thing for us because in this the seashells and lifestyle the there's it seems like there's always dirt and sand you're bringing it into your all rig, the time so. And what if it, what has been your guys' favorite? The games. Yay. What do you guys play on uh, the games? What do they have up there? They have yeah, ball, 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 hoops, ladder golf, uh, bean bag toss, too. Bean bag toss. And, and, and hula cornhole. Cornhole. They've been like uh, doing uh, like 20 hula hoops at one time contests. Yeah, yeah that was hooping. fun. <laughs> and there's hammocks up there. It's such a cool little area to be able to just hang out out there with the adults and the kids are all playing. It's just um, a good relaxing. Yeah, like the community feel here is like top notch with their family. Their family is amazing. Their family, like parts of their family are always out there every night. And so we're getting to meet like individual people of their family. Um, and so it's just like really great community. Me, full time, and we actually share a lot of our everyday life on the road with five kids and Helen, our, our English bulldog. 
um, on our stories on Instagram. So you can follow along um, on Instagram and typically we'll update that um, throughout the day. And it's uh, at Oils and Grace Tribe. And um, yeah, we just really love this lifestyle. Aren't their kids adorable? They're pretty cute. <laughs> we have loved getting to meet them and spend time with them while we've been here this week. But now we're gonna go head over and see Jack and Patsy. They are a retired couple who are living full time in their RV, but we wanna hear what they think about what they look for in an RV resort. Hi, we're Jack and Patsy Lawson, and we've been RVing for quite a while now and enjoying it. And this is the best place we've found so far. So we're still exploring. Yeah. We'll be leaving here at the end of April, heading out again, heading up east and back west. Mm -hmm. and looking for more adventures. First, and, first thing on me is I, I really like a clean restroom. Clean restroom, oh yeah. clean showers. Laundry room. Mm, laundry room. Right. And of course we got ours right here across the, across right. the street. Right, because we, we don't have a washer dryer in our RV. We thought, eh, we don't need it. Mm, if we did it over again, we might get a fifth wheel with a washer and dryer, got small, but... Got a small shower that works, <laughs> but it's nice to get into a big one and yeah, really, really right. turn that water on. <laughs> yeah. This was a real bonus when we got here because they have a dog bath. They have a dog spa. That we've not seen that anywhere. Yeah. That was way cool because it's really getting difficult. He's so little, you really have to lean down to clean him in the shower here. And of course, they don't like you to take him into their the restrooms, the public ones. Um, so that is was really a bonus. And the dryer. Got, they dry it. Yeah. They said they. Listen, I actually talked to the manager here. He said that they researched how do dogs smell so nice after they've been left. They go and get groomed at the groomer, and the groomer said it's because we dry them there. So he, they made a point of actually putting a dog dryer, blow dryer for the dog yeah. in their spa here. And as he who did, thinks yeah. of that? You know, yeah. seriously, yeah. who thinks of that? So this has been really cool. And the mother, <laughs> nice, nice place about here it has two park, two dog parks. One for little dogs. Yeah. And has a little has the astral turf there, and then the, then has mm -hmm. a big grass. For big dogs, but and actually, my dog thinks he's big dogs, so right. he likes to go in there with the big actually, dogs. I think they're going to build another dog park over on this end. Oh, yeah, somebody, somebody told me that, oh, okay. that they're going to actually put in another one. My sister and brother-in-law are flying out Saturday to come and stay here. They're going to stay in one of the cottages yeah. because we've shown videos and told them you got to come visit us. So they're coming out and they're going to spend a week here with. Us. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Another thing I like because all the hookups are all well organized and mm -hmm. all right, all right. There. And in great position as well because. Hey, some of them aren't, you know, it's, it's kind of funny how different <laughs> some of the parks are, you know. Well, they've done their research on laying, laying oh, things out. You know. Yeah, um, I think they researched this for years before they put this together and boy it shows. Aren't Jack and Patsy awesome? They're so cool. They have such a laid back, awesome vibe. We love them. What's really cool to see is all the similarities in everyone that we talk to, including ourselves. So there's definitely consistent themes of what people look for in RV resorts. And it was definitely not a surprise to hear so many commonalities between everyone. So what we want to hear is what you like to see. So leave a comment below. We'd love to see that. If you have any recommendations of places we should go, we're not going to tell you where our route is because it's part of the surprise. <laughs> but if you have recommendations, leave them down in the comment. We'd love to take a look as we're continuing to travel the U.S. on the Pause for Love Tour.